Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Igor Mondarevsky and Mikhail Botvinnik. This game was played in Soviet Union in 1941. Igor Mondarevsky had white pieces and he started with e4. Botvinnik played e6, d4, and Botvinnik played d5, French defense. e5, advanced variation. c5, knight to f3. Knight to c6, bishop to d3, c takes on d4, and Bondarevsky castled kingside. Bishop to c5, defending the pawn, a3, knight from g to e7, knight from b to d2, knight to g6, attacking the pawn on e5, knight to b3, attacking the bishop, bishop to b6, rook to e1, defending the pawn on e5. Bishop to d7, Botvinnik is not rushing with castling. g3, f6, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, queen to d3, attacking the pawn on g6, king to f7, defending, h4, queen to g8, Botvinnik actually wants to exchange queens. Bishop to d2, queen to h7, preparing g5. Bishop to b4 and Botvinnik played g5. He wants to exchange queens because he'll be better in the endgame. And Bundarevsky did capture the queen. Rook takes queen, e takes on f6, g takes on f6, h takes on g5. Very interesting position. It is black to move. What would you do? If you wish, you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for black because this move is decisive. Botvinnik played e5. Of course, taking the pawn on g5 would be a terrible mistake. The knight takes on g5, check, fork in the king and the rook. So we have e5. g takes on f6. King takes on f6. Material is equal. But black has a strong center. And a bishop pair that give him a winning advantage. Bishop to d6. Attacking the pawn on e5. Defending knight to h4, rook to g8, threatening, rook takes, knight, unpinning, bishop to f5, attacking the pawn on c2, defending, and Botvinnik played d3, opening diagonals for his bishop, rook to d2, if c takes on d3, bishop takes on d3, and after a rook, to d2, then bishop to c4. So we have rook to d2, d takes on c2, and black is a pawn up. This pawn on c2 may be very dangerous. f4, bishop to e3, attacking the rook. Bishop takes on e5, knight takes on e5, f takes on e5. It is black to move. What would you do? I think king takes pawn is very tempting. Botvinnik played king to e7. King takes on e5 is also winning. Perhaps more complicated than Botvinnik's move. Let's have a look what happens now. If rook to e1, then d4. And after knight takes on d4, king to f6, should be still winning for black. We have king to e7, a simple way to continue. Rook to f1, attacking the bishop on f5. It is black to move. Black, play the move when white resigned. What is the move? I thought if I was black, I would just take the rook on d2. Botvinnik pushed the pawn and promoted it to queen. 
Bondarevsky resigned in view of this continuation. Knight takes queen, then bishop takes rook, and after rook takes bishop on f5, bishop takes knight, and black is a piece up. Bishop is attacking the pawns on the queen side. There is also pass pawn on d file. White's position is hopeless. That is why Bondarevsky resigned in this position. This game was a treat for people who play French defense. And that is all. I hope you too enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.